Hi my geekers, how y'all doing? What's up geek gang? Well, we're here to review Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Soldier. Winter Soldier is now viewing. <laughs> it's, oh my God. Why are you saying it's the now, Winter Soldier? Winter Soldier. <laughs> now it's, you can see it on Disney Plus, yep. all six episodes. It is done. So we are going to talk about it. Yes, we are going to talk Soldier. about it. The Winter Soldier. So let's go get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. So let's talk about it. Yes, sir. We are finished uh, watching this uh, series on Disney's Plus. Uh, Disney Plus, and mm -hmm. uh, we enjoy it from start to finish. And mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, we just decided to like let's let's talk. let's talk about it real let's quick. Talk a little, little little something something about it. We're mm. not gonna go to rundown of it. Yeah. We're just gonna talk Hunter about Mackie and you know Sebastian Stan, you know, and everybody else and everybody. Else. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now we're just gonna go into the topics mm -hmm. like the main characters who would you like who would you not like I think who's well cast it whatever you know so, uh, it's funny enough that you said that who we don't like and who would like uh, at first I didn't I wasn't liking the the winter soldier really why yeah for, for I, I'm not sure I don't know why I, he he didn't grab me that much in the um, in the MCU mm -hmm. I guess so okay um, when you say that so you didn't like him in the series at first, or you didn't no, no, like him? No, I didn't like him okay. in, the, in the entire movie from 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 um, Captain America Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Right. There on, I didn't like him. I was trying to, embr I, well, basically, I was embracing him a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, I wasn't like grabbing him that much. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier kind of brought me a bit close to him because you actually see that um he's going through some issues yes you know I mean? he's going to do some issues to the fact that he lost his friend or he was basically in an incident where he came back and he started killing people under a guise mm -hmm. um, and remembers all of those things yeah basically and now he has to deal with that because all that brainwashing is pretty much done or we hope it's done exactly so that puts him in a more human form mm -hmm. so you to for you to embrace him more as well like as definitely like a psd kind of thing yeah, yeah, yeah like you can definitely kind of relate to him in that thought process for um anthony mackie's um falcon mm -hmm. you literally get to see him in a more in-depth form with his with his sister trying to save the the, the family business with the the whole the fishing mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. i and thought that was a good touch you see, yeah and you actually see him being a human being a, a person who he, he has the he has the love the affection the care for people and life and everything mm -hmm. so you actually get to see his background where it kind of develops him to be the, the 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 new Captain America. Yeah, and I love the fact that they actually grappled with that. I love the fact that they actually you know dealt with that because like I'm not here to diss anyone's like thought process or whatever. I just want to talk about my own. Mm -hmm. And like I heard a lot of feedback of like he wanted to be Captain America at the end of Endgame, but then. He didn't want to be Captain America, and I thought that that was real. I thought that, especially for a black man, mm -hmm. I thought that that was so real mm -hmm. to have him grapple with the thought process of like, should I be Captain America? Should I not be Captain America? Will they accept me as Captain America? Will I accept myself as Captain America? All those things were talked about, and I thought that they did it with such grace and humility, but also realism as to like, I know me and my friends were talking about that too. Every time that you had a different episode, mm. you saw that progression like, all right, let's talk about this. Mm. Let's see where they're going. Let's see how they're dealing with it. Yeah, and of course, you know, we the odd, well, some of the audience, of course, the racist ones, always were actually going to be saying something about the fact that because when um, in the ending of Endgame, when uh, uh, Captain America gave him the shield, you had people like literally didn't want him to be the next Captain America. You mm -hmm. can actually see that in couple social media fronts, you know, I mean, you hear that. Or say that that's not them. canon. Yeah, and, exactly. and, and it is. It is canon. So. Um, so for him to 
be in this 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 length um, of progression that him becoming Captain America was pretty much done yeah. well. Yes. By uh, by Disney, and I really respect that. Yeah. And talking about um, black folks and um, and and Falcon be, becoming uh, Captain America, we have to talk about uh, Isaiah Bradley. The, Yo, the that, that his his oh story mm. really really got to me. Yeah, and it was from realism, it and it was, was also from, from left field. Yeah, exactly. like you didn't think that they were gonna bring that story character out. I'll be honest with you, I didn't even know about him, mm. and I had to do my research when they started talking about. Him. I'm like, oh, who is this guy? Mm. And then like, is is very similar. And I love how they paint they they painted it in such a realism of what has actually happened. Mm -hmm. Like putting that set aside, not set aside, but set against the Tuskegee um, experiment. experiment yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was just like, yo, this? They paid a really good homage to, yes. to, the, to the Tuskegee yes. Airmen. Yes, yes. Yeah. That was good. No, I, not the Airmen, but the, 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 the experiment. The experiment, yeah, but yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah and um, of course, we already embraced kinda and pushed away kinda with John Walker. You know, we, we, well, I can't tell you this much that I, I embraced him and then I was like, he's a bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we were like on the balancing scale with that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, of course, everyone had their own issues with him, but being that he is now the the, the U.S. agent mm -hmm. makes sense. Yes, and, it um, does. You know, of course. Future ahead, I hope they, they, they put him in uh, other MCU movies. You know, I don't want to see him MCU movies. Well, I think this is this goes to like future predictions. I don't want to mm. see him MCU movies. I would just want to see him progressed in this universe mm. of Falcon and Winter Soldier or if they do Captain America movies. Mm. I don't see how he fits mm -hmm. into other projects. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? But mm. again, my thought process and we'll see because Marvel's done a damn good job they did of a weaving job. a lot they of different things and you're like, that doesn't go together? But it did. The action scenes. Oh my God. The action scenes. It was scenes so, it was so the like, the movie. just <laughs> you the see movie. movie. <laughs> from the beginning it, of the series. That's right. Basically. It did yeah. feel very it, Captain America. Exactly. And it felt like a soldier, movie. Civil War. I was like, yo, these these fight scenes. Yo, kick it ass. felt like a movie. Yo. Mm -hmm. It felt like it was like real, real shit. Like absolutely, actually absolutely. Watching um, another part of the the M. Well, it's actually a part of the MCU, mm -hmm. but it's more like you know a TV series. But it felt so. It felt it cinematic. Felt it felt cinematic. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So definitely um the, the the last part of the move the last portion you of this the movie yeah. the last portion of the series that was that was compelling as well um the, yeah the, episode the, six the, yeah episode six and all the commentary because there was a lot of commentary throughout yeah 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 definitely so you know the action scenes for this was way above par i will say that um that episode six again i mean actually all the episodes i felt were very gripping i felt mm. that the series did take a real turn mm -hmm. once John Walker took the super serum and yeah. legit damn it. When he used the shield and what? Oh my god. That and that was brutal too. And that was another thing that I was really surprised at that on Disney Plus mm -hmm. they were gonna go brutal. Like on Disney. This was you wouldn't think this is the mouse house, but yeah. it definitely did not hold back and I was appreciative of yeah, that. Yeah, they didn't hold back. The villains, the villains, the villains. Well, <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm I'm still confused as who were basically the villains villains because I to agree. me i think the, I the flag smashers weren't much of a villain they actually had a cause okay. you know they actually had a cause it's the only the fact that um carly was beyond doing beyond and what she wanted to do like she wanted to go a more deeper purpose okay than what because i remember in that portion when they when she blew up the um the place that they captured with the security guards and she blew up she mm -hmm. blew up the place um the guy in the car was like what the fuck why, why <laughs> you, you know so you can tell and that it wasn't the group flag smashers that were and bad. even at the hard. last the last episode she was like one one world what and and they was like yeah, one word we have to like. We, <laughs> they was like, mm, yeah, we exactly. not with you on this. Yeah, we only nah. say this because you might beat our ass. So it seems like, to me, I don't think that they were much of a bigger, th they don't seem like a bigger threat to me. Overall, I don't think there was any threat in the whole entire series more than so. Because I don't think that that was the point. No, it wasn't the point. But at the same time, what I'm saying is that 
to me, I don't feel like there was much of a villain presence in the in the whole series. I agree with you, and I don't think that that was the point because you can make the argument that the so-called villains. Mm. First of all, why were they villains? Mm. You see what I'm saying? It wasn't just like you wanted to be this bad person. They wanted mm. to be this bad person. Carly, Zemo, John Walker, Sharon, um, Sharon Carter, any of them. You you really can see why mm. they turned heel. Mm -hmm. Okay, and whether you agree with it or not is another topic. Yeah. But you can see why, and I love that that they that they're starting to make their villains. I wouldn't say understandable. Because I can understand them, but at least in a sense of like, hmm, they're mm. going to make you think. Mm -hmm. It's not just clear cut anymore. And, you know, don't get me wrong. There are some I, I want them to be bad. I mm. want to hate them. As much as you want to, could you really hate any of them? No, I couldn't. Because it, at, at the same time, they had a cause, but it's like they had a cause but they were going about it the wrong way to mm. to, to create justice oh. and it's the same thing with uh with zemo zemo for for some reason it's like the series wanted you to, to like him that's true you hear what i'm saying even that's though true. he even killed, though he was a s-o-b in the civil Chaka. war it, exactly exactly so exactly. They, they, they made us like him with the whole dancing thing and whatever and I didn't it's understand like it everyone, at first, but it was, it was everyone was kind of embracing Zemo, <laughs> and of course Sharon Carter. We actually get to see her in a different light of being working against the MC. Well, against the the, the Avengers, basically. Not to against me, not think, against Avengers, but do you think she's the power broker? I think she is a power broker. I don't think so. I I, think, I, I, well, I, I can't wait to see. I think there's how that a much plays more out. larger emphasis, uh, or a larger story behind her. Oh, that's definite. But, yeah, that's definite. But definitely. I, I'm waiting to see what's going to happen with Anthony Mackie being Captain America. Yes, and are he, they going to do a season two? Are they going to do? There's rumblings that there's already now greenlit for a Captain America. Yeah, it's fourth Captain one. Four. Yeah, yeah. Um, good. And I'm not sure how I feel about that because I feel like I, I liked this I think setup for for seasons. That I think that there could be multiple seasons, but you can do a couple of different movies with this. Yeah, and and, and I'm, I'm pretty much ready for um, Captain America four because um, you actually get to see his him in action mm -hmm. with his new suit and what he does with his shield and everything. Oh so man, I'm ready, I'm, way, I'm, ready I'm, ready okay, I'm ready for that. I'm ready for that merch. Okay, I'm ready for that merch. The whole entire series I, overall, I, I literally can say I was fully satisfied okay. with whatever I, I, I Disney put out for so, this. So I take it you're like, thumbs up, right? I'm, I'm a big thumbs up for uh, the Captain America, which is now Captain America instead of Falcon, <laughs> um, and the Winter Soldier. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty much 100% behind that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a, I, I don't know why I felt he was so funny, but he was for a second. So I'm going to agree with you. Um, mm. I also am a huge thumbs up for this as well. Yeah. Um, I think that they did a great job talking about social commentary. I think, you know, honestly, even with their great job, they still could have pushed that even more. Mm. Um, and I, I want to see that happen in yeah. future projects. And that's why I really think that no matter what, I'll be very happy for either a movie or another series, but I think that they can do it better in a series. And just so another, I want, and just, I want another and season And just another too. quick thing, I truly do respect the fact that um, Mar um, Disney and Marvel came up with something to commemorate the black men um, that had gone through the whole issue with the this is he experiment. Abs experiment absolutely absolutely and um that and was they, very, and they did that, it head on yeah that was very touching um it literally put some tears to my eyes because just after the struggle of, of, of what black people black folks been going through for so long that's right i mean so a lot of it, it was it was respect. That. that's that's a fact that's a fact that. i respect that. that's a fact you know? i'm putting isaiah bradley front not front and center but front and center in the thought process of like captain america can that be a black man should anthony mackie do should anthony mackie should sam wilson mm -hmm. you know um do that and him thinking about that through his journey because he's now you know thinking about it through Isaiah Bradley. That's what that's what we think about the whole entire Winter Soldier. As usual, 
you can um, check us out on um, Instagram. Instagram, Twitter, Geek yep. by Heart. Subscribe down low if you want to see more content. Comment. What did you like about the Falcon and Winter Soldier as a series, as episodes? Do you want to see more? Season two, movie four. It's here. Whatever. Yep. I am Lainey. I'm Jay. And we will see you when, when we see you. When we see you.